what's up guys? As you probably read by the title, uh, I really didn't even want to make a video about this, but it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, once again, we have multiple people reporting on this astonishing news that Zerodium is offering an untethered jailbreak bounty for $2 million. Wow! That does absolutely nothing for us in the jailbreak community. It's completely irrelevant. This neither hurts nor helps us, in my opinion, because really, it's it's not good news by any means, because any exploit or any jailbreak that's going to come from this is never going to be released to the public. But realistically, the people that participate in these jailbreak bounties that actually um, give bugs and give their exploits and contribute their work towards getting paid, that's, in my opinion, their goal from the get-go. Anything that is contributed towards this project is never going to see the light of day. It's never going to be released to the public. But here we are, this major security company is offering $2 million for an untethered iOS 12 jailbreak. And if you guys want more information about this, definitely check out the site. But basically, the one part that I wanted to show you guys was down here in their payout section. You can see right here, $2 million for an Apple iOS Remote jailbreak zero click with persistence, meaning an untethered jailbreak. And even with one click, you still get $1.5 million. So either way, that is just insane. It is a lot of money. Hooray, congratulations. But just like every other jailbreak bounty in the past, this really doesn't help the public jailbreak community by any means. I mean, if you're offering $2 million for an iOS exploit, an iOS 12 exploit at that, that can lead to an untethered jailbreak, the last thing you're gonna do is release it to the public. I guess at the very least, it shows the demand for iOS 12 jailbreaks and for being able to gather information off of iPhones where their software is just so damn secure. Um, that they literally have to offer $2 million and people are going to pay more than that to buy this untethered jailbreak off of Zerodium. That's the entire point of Zerodium offering this bounty is they think they can flip it and sell it to another company like a government agency, an intelligence agency, and able to gather information from criminals or maybe a business trying to monitor their employees or something like that. But really, that is the entire point, is they're offering $2 million for an untethered jailbreak to flip it to another company. It's never going to see the light of day. And that's really, the, that's the point I wanted to make in this video, is yeah, it's cool. These jailbreak bounties are awesome to show interest in jailbreaking, to show interest in hacking iOS devices, but really this is not going to lead to a public iOS 12 jailbreak by any means. It's the furthest thing from it. And in my opinion, it really neither helps nor hurts us in the jailbreak community because the people that are contributing to programs like this, the developers that are working on exploits, that are working on jailbreaks to get paid, I feel like that's their intention from the get-go. They want something out of it. It's not for um, a hobby or for public gratification, I guess, in this sense. It's their job. They want a payout, and so the people that actually contribute exploits, I don't think we're ever going to release their research to the public in the first place. So with that being the case, I don't really feel like the iOS jailbreak community is really losing anything from this, but it's definitely not gaining anything either. This is not going to be leading to a public iOS 12 jailbreak, and that's the main point I want to make in this video is it's cool news, it's interesting, but it's completely irrelevant to anyone in the iOS jailbreak community that wants a public iOS 12 jailbreak for the iPhone XS or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this quick video. Jailbreak bounties are really interesting, I guess, but um, I honestly, I wasn't even gonna cover it, but I've seen so many articles and so many people have been asking me what is up. As you guys can see throughout this article, the company's Rhodium's not only targeting iOS, but other operating systems and other programs as well. They're a big security research company and they're just basically trying to make a quick buck on flipping what they have. So that's the gist of what this company's doing. As you guys can see right here, it says they focus on high risk vulnerabilities with fully functional exploits. And that's the reason why they pay the highest rewards of up to $2 million. Last year, I believe they offered 1.5 million. I believe there's a couple other companies as well that were offering jailbreak bounties. Um, but here we are again with another jailbreak bounty. Again, I really just wanna reiterate, this isn't going to be leading towards an iOS 12 jailbreak. And I really just want to clarify that information for everyone out there 
wondering what this was. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. Definitely hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to stay updated on the latest news pertaining to a public iOS 12 jailbreak. And then thank you again so much for watching and being awesome fans. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.